Hello guys, Engineer Miller here. Welcome sa isa namang uh, problem na isusolve natin. This time, I don't know kung ang tawag dito ay trigo, but it's a combination. Now, itong problem na to na isusolve natin ay nakuha ko sa librong ito, no? Ni Alfred S. Posamentia. <laughs> Uh, challenging problems in geometry, okay? So, sabi sa problem, two telephone poles, 40 feet and 60 feet high respectively, are placed near each other. As partial support, a cable runs from the top of each pole to the bottom of the other. How high above the ground is the point of intersection of the two supports? Yan yung problem, no? Now, if we will illustrate this, it will look like this. Meron daw dalawang pole, telephone poles, uh, preferably on the same level ground. Ngayon sabi, mayroon daw support na cable running from the top of the pole to the bottom of the other. So, dalawang pole yan, no? To dalawa ring cable. And obviously, uh, magkakaroon ngayon ng intersection itong point na ito ang tawag natin diyan yung point of intersection and ang sabi sa problem how high above the ground is the point of intersection so ang hinahanap natin ay kung gaano kataas ito well lagyan natin ng variable tawagin ko ngayon siyang c si value na y okay now Yung distance between these two poles ay hindi binigay kung gaano sila kalayo. And the reason is because it doesn't matter uh, whether malapit sila or malayo sila. The value of y will remain the same. Kahit malapit man yan o malayo, parehas lang. I trinay ko yan sa AutoCAD. Tama, walang pinagkaiba kahit malapit o malayo. So, tawagin na lang natin yung distance nila bilang distance L, yung layo nila sa isa't isa. Ngayon, let's consider yung point of intersection. Ito. Maglagay tayo ng variable mula dito sa right side hanggang Y, tawagin kong X. Obviously, kung yan ay X, itong kabila ay L minus X. Okay. So, ang goal natin ay masolve si value ng y. yon ang goal natin. Now, para masolve yan, kailangan muna natin makuha si x. Para masolve si x, well, let's try to consider itong triangles na to. to, to, to. Kung papansin nyo itong dalawang triangle na to, no, na ma-form natin, yung diagonal lines ay parehos ng slope para sa dalawang triangle. Ganon din yung slope ng, pare, ng, ng dalawang poles. Parehas din na uh, parallel lines sila. No? Parehas sila ng slope. So itong dalawang ito na triangle ay isang case ng tinatawag natin na similar triangle. So para masolve natin yan, gamit yung symmetry na yung symmetrical triangle na yan, or by symmetry, Pwede natin i-consider itong si 40 and x na to and si 60 is to L minus x. So, we will use symmetry or similar triangle or ratio and proportion. So, 40 is to x is to 60 is to L over L minus x. Or ganito yung turing yan. 40 over x, yung triangle sa right is equal to, i-proportion natin sa triangle sa left, 60 over L minus X. Okay? So, from here, dito sa triangle na to, pwede nating isolve si X in terms of L. And then mamaya, gawan natin ng paraan na mawala si L. Kasi hindi naman siya, sabi nga natin, hindi siya nag wala siyang effect dun sa value ng y, yung l. So, eventually, in our solution, it will make a way na yung l ay mawawala kasi wala siyang effect dito sa value ng y. Okay? So, normally, pag ganun ang condition, mawawala na lang siya, makakancel na lang siya all, na later on dito sa solution natin. So, let's try that. Cross-multiply tayo. So, 40 times l minus x 
and then 60 times x so this will be 40l minus 40x is equal to 60x by cross multiplication we can simplify ilipat natin si 40 sa right side so this will be 40l is equal to 60x plus 40x combine similar terms so 100x is equal to 40l pinagpalit ko lang ng pwesto then kunin natin si x in terms of l divide natin yung whole equation by 100 so this will become 40l over x uh, over 100 yan yung maging value ng x or we can simplify this further as 0.4 l okay so yan yung x in terms of l so whatever the value of x is the location of the intersection will be 0.4 of that l it will be it will always be like that okay now, tanggalin muna natin itong mga to. So, meron tayong x in terms of L. Now, let's consider si y naman. Now, para makuha natin si y, we can draw triangle either dun sa 40 inches na pole or dun sa 60 inches na pole, uh, 60 feet na pole. Gamitin ko si 60 feet. Itong triangle na to. Okay? Now, from this triangle, notice... Uh, Again, yung triangle YX at saka yung triangle 60L, kung titignan nyo yan, yan ulit ay similar triangle. So, by symmetry, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, pwede natin i-consider si Y and X and si 60 at saka L. Okay? So, by symmetry, Y is to X is to 60 is to L. Okay? By ratio and proportion. Yung proportion ni, uh, yung ratio ni y to x, ipoproportion natin sa ratio naman ni 60 at L. So, by ratio and proportion. So, from here, pwede nating i-multiply si x sa right side para maiwan si y sa left. So, it will be 60x over L. And remember, sabi natin kanina, na yung x is 0.4L, so, ipalit natin siya dun sa taas. It will become 60 times 0.4L over L. And ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina sa inyo na eventually makakancel din yung L na yan. And ito na nga. Pwede nang i-cancel. And ang maiiwan na lang ay 60 times 0 0.4 which that will be 24 feet. Okay? So, maraming maraming salamat guys. See you sa ating susunod na video. Bye-bye!